What's up guys? So today I'm gonna teach you how to rig and launch your kite from a yacht. All right, let's start by pumping my 13.5. And then we're gonna attach it to the boat. Make sure your bridle's on twisted. So I'm just gonna leave my kite over there. Let's run the lines. Gonna put them around this thing here. Cool, put your bar right side up. Run your lines. We're gonna put this line. Put the lines down. One. Two, three, there we go. And lastly, take this one, all good. You need a land speed record holder yeah. to assist you with uh, getting your line clear from the fishing here. Setting up your kites on a yacht is a mission, right? Luckily, in my super luxury kite clinic, we leave the yacht to go to the beach with Zodiacs and we've got kite caddies and compressed air to help you set up your gear. You can book my clinic before it sells out using the link below. All right, all good. No cuts. Whoa. Make sure there's no boat in the way. <laughs> All right, then we're just gonna wait for those lines to tighten up. For some reason, I don't wanna open up. I think one of the lines could be hooked. All right, there we go. All right, let's check our lines, they're all good. Boom. So now let's get our kite up to the edge of the window. See if there's enough wind for that. All right. <laughs> Now we made sure the lines are inside the kite, so not over the leading edge. Make sure my flagging line isn't wrapped around anything over here. So pull this extra flagging line, let's pull this guy through. All right, so if we do things correctly, next time we roll out the lines, if we reverse things correctly, and uh, pass the ball the correct way around, then we're gonna be able to go kiting again. And this is me holding the kite while filming because I'm the best wife. And now we just gotta close the strut. See, kiting on a yacht's fucking easy, guys. Piece of uh, cheesecake. Cheesecake. <laughs> Here we go. What's something easy, guys? Give me something. Piece Apple pie. It's a piece of cake. That's the saying. Cheesecake. Cheesecake's the shit, guys. Yeah, but cheesecake's not below, easy. You love cheesecake. Struts are closed. <laughs> The 
reason why we're singing is because there's the back over there is where they shot Pirates of the Caribbean. What a mission. Very easy, guys. Very easy. What? Just like a mission. <laughs> this is the mission. And now, we take this beautiful baby bundle, 50 meter XR, and we take it to the back of the boat. And you leave it for the next session. So this trip was the perfect opportunity for me to slow down a little bit with the work and have a fantastic time connecting with friends and with my wife. She puts up with so much shit from me. All the dudes out there, I think you know what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, it was really cool. I got to learn to foil, which is not something I've ever been interested in doing, at least not that motivated to do because I've always been a competitive big air kiter. And now that I'm not competing anymore, I'm like, hey, I'll spend my time focusing on another discipline. So that was cool, not to mention there wasn't that much wind out here. Typically, you're gonna be out here on your 12 meter kite if you have to just take one. We're at the, a little bit of the end of season, so I had to be on my uh, 13.5 and my 15 most of the time. And I was even foiling on my 15, which is totally overkill. You don't need to do that. So yeah, guys, not the strongest wind, but a really good time for being out here in old school. If you wanna be out here for progression, it's not perfect for progression because you gotta be launching your kite from a boat a lot of the time, which makes it difficult to change sizes. So when the good strong winds come through in squalls, you're often not ready to, to get out there on those, uh, to swap down to your 10 or your, your 12 if you were on a bigger size. So not ideal, but there are some spots where you kite at land spots. Check out this spot. We were kiting at the land and then there was this beautiful little land gap. We jumped over there and had a flipping beautiful session in this nice flat water, absolutely sick. So yeah, living on the boats has been super duper cool. We've been eating delicious meals three times a day. We've also had some good internet. So when I have needed to get a little bit of work done, I've been able to do that. That's been groovy. And yeah, what can I say? I mean, I've been out here just doing a lot of pull-ups and push-ups, doing my calisthenics and stuff, getting back in shape, which has been pretty cool. Because recently I have not been making my body and myself a priority. So if that's you, hey, just a little reminder, we're here for a good time. Dun, dun. <laughs> Not a long time, let's look after our bodies and uh, yeah, enjoy our time in this amazing life. So yeah guys, let me show you around the yacht. It's pretty damn cool. Catamaran, I should say, apparently. Baby, baby! Hi. Hi. We're packing. Ours is in a bit of a state. All right, let me show you around. Over here we have the trapeze. I think that's what, what it's called. We've got some gear storage over there. We've got the sails, groovy things. These are the windows to the rooms down over here. Windows to the toilets. Let's keep the journey going. Pretty groovy space over here. I think this is called the saloon, right? Yeah, the lobby or? Sweet. So yeah, guys, over here is where we eat the meals. Down there we got some groovy snorkeling gear. We were doing some awesome snorkeling. Cut this to snorkeling, boom.
Yeah, we spent a lot of time on the dinghy, missioning out to some beaches and going to the land and yeah. getting rescues whenever shit went wrong. I didn't get rescued. I definitely didn't re get rescued eight times when I was trying to learn to wing foil and foiling in light wind. That wasn't me. That was another brow with the mohawk. And over here, the kitchen over there. It's in a bit of a state. Here's a groovy lounge area. Nice to do a little bit of work over there. All right. And here we get into the room, which we are busy packing. So it is in a bit of a shit state. Normally it looks a lot better than this. But anyway, got some nice shelves for storage over there. I got all my camera gear over here. Muchos camera gear. Tennis shoes, gotta go everywhere with those. Little bathroom with a pump toilet, pretty interesting. Got electricity on the boat because there's an inverter and solar panels. And guys, something really important that I wanna share with you. I get to travel the world and live this amazing life and I'm super, super lucky and I feel really grateful to be doing it. But one thing I've realized is that life gets better and better and better and better, but it doesn't make me happier. At the end of the day, you just gotta be happy with what you've got. Sure, push to get more, but pushing for new levels of attainment, just having more things or having more amazing experiences isn't the source of happiness. It really comes down to just being grateful for what you have. And I really like this quote that goes, money will not make you happy, but the absence of money can make you very unhappy. And that's from Naval Ravikant in this amazing podcast with Joe Rogan. This podcast is like an hour and a half. It's like the best podcast I have ever heard in my life. And I highly recommend you go and listen to it right now. I'm going to drop the link down below. The guy speaks about so many things from like economics, psychology, society, AI, all kinds of incredible things, investing. You gotta check it out, it's super, super good. So guys, you might be wondering what it's like to be sleeping on a boat. Honestly, the bed's pretty comfortable. Sometimes it rains at night and then you gotta close this window up here. But the cool thing is you have a window to the stars, which is absolutely sick. You can just climb out of here when you want to and you can go and take a leak, which is awesome, off the boat. And uh, <clears throat> if there's one thing that I love, it's taking a leak in nature. What a blessing. We had a, a pretty amazing trip and we will for sure be uh, coming out to the Caribbean again. I will probably have a trip out here sometime. So if you want to find out when that's going to be, then just head over to gethighwithmike.com and you can sign up to my mailing list. You'll also get some cool PDF uh, eBooks teaching you how to do some groovy things. And uh, yeah, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions for me, drop them in the comments. And last but not least, please be sure to give this video a like so that YouTube knows that it's pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching. Muchos besos and adios.